Hey, good morning and welcome to the Nomadic Outdoor Adventures and Travel Show here. This fine morning, we are definitely outside. Got all our camping stuff still over there. We're cooking us some breakfast over here. Got some nice sausages right here over the a little bit of charcoal, a little bit of fire. What about you? Good morning, Mr. Ronnie. Uh, good morning. You sitting nice and comfortable over there? Very good. Nice. We're going to be cooking us some breakfast and then uh, we got to clean all of this stuff up. And uh, then today we'll be going home. Absolutely, right? Good morning. Yeah, there you go. Everything is cleaned up. Take a look at this. Just the way it was. I know Trucker Jukebox, Tom and Ta I mean uh, Don were all supposed to be have been in Canada this weekend, but you guys couldn't make it, so you had fun there, Mr. Nico? Yeah. Yeah? All right, that's good. We definitely enjoyed our time over here. Looks like Ronnie is just about packed up over here. Oh my. So Ronnie, you had a good time? Oh, good time. All right. Thank you for the good time. With oh, you. no problem, buddy. It was a lot awesome. of fun. Oh yeah. We need to do it more often though. Oh. <laughs> we do at least. A couple of times a year, right? <laughs> we try once yeah. a year. We did it a second time this year already, oh, yeah. so that's good. All right, well, I guess uh, we're sweating now, so time to get uh, to on the air. road. Yeah, to air condition. Yep. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is no wind whatsoever out here today. The flags are not even not even waving at all. Just a gorgeous day. I wish I could stay another day or two or three. Man, it's been such a such a blessing uh, here this weekend with camping we never got any rain no hard wind or anything like that perfect camping weather oh my goodness it's just been beautiful but now we gotta get our long journey going home again <laughs> this is always the sad part of everything going camping you gotta go home and clean everything up fun is done with back to work <laughs> oh well it is what it is such as life all good things come to an end but my most important thing is that we enjoyed ourselves and that we sure did we got a lot of exercising we did a lot of walking that one day there i can feel my muscles still today i guarantee you that and then some more later on <laughs> yeah we have arrived at holland Yes, indeed. This is a uh, very nice windmill right there. Looks pretty neat, eh? I thought so anyway. It's a pretty uh, neat little place to stop by and just kind of show you guys a little bit, a little scenic area. Looks like they got a little bit of a picnic table uh, with a tent or not tent, but a little tarp set up can sit underneath there and just have a little bit of a break looks pretty neat in my opinion you could probably stop in here and maybe take some pictures of uh, the Milky Way with that in the background that would look pretty neat but then again there might be too many lights around here as you guys can see it is a beautiful day out here today we're uh, just at a little bit of a lake here and I've seen all these yellow and flowers and stuff like that, wild ones. There's some purple ones right there. And uh, I've been spending some time over here. And what I have been doing is I've been uh, taking pictures of all kinds of different insects over here. I'm going to see if I can maybe perhaps zoom in on some. Of course, whenever you want to film, it doesn't want to work, but uh, let's see if we can get lucky maybe over there. Looks like we might be able to get lucky over there. Look at that. There's a couple of them sitting right there. A couple of different insects. i try and zoom in right closely into them. Oh, look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful shot right there. 
you got two of them sitting right there nice and I've seen a bunch of different kinds of insects over here so I've been getting some really really nice shots of them so I'll probably share them here at uh, in a little bit but what a gorgeous gorgeous day it's been out here today I just had a blast sitting here for a good while and just taking pictures of them and hey summer is short why not enjoy it? You guys might want to read these signs. I don't know if you do or not, but it's a little bit of a glare, it looks like. You guys should be able to read them. It's quite dark, so oh, there we go. You guys should be able to read all of the history on it. You guys can pause the video if you guys really want to. But yeah, so we got some more yellow flowers right here. And... Uh, I've just been seeing all kinds of bees and different insects and everything on it. But look at the gorgeous, gorgeous reflection of the clouds and everything on the water. This is just breathtaking to me. I don't know about you guys, but I just love it. So, let's see what else we can come up with. This is a perfect example why nomads love getting out here and enjoying a beautiful beautiful scenery like this you guys see how nice and green that water is in the background well it is an absolutely breathtaking view over here but let me see if i can show you guys this there's actually some snow on top of the mountains right there yet look at that wow and this is in the middle of august right now and we're still seeing snow on top of these mountains. Unbelievable. Down here at the bottom, it's 26 degrees Celsius, which is probably around 78 degrees. But I just love this beautiful, beautiful green water. It's fairly, fairly clear too. Let me show you guys over here a little bit. Look how clear that water is right there. I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see it, but I think what would look even better is if we got our bird up in the sky and uh, showed you guys around a little bit. It almost looks like there's been a few avalanches over there because if you look carefully, there's quite a few trees missing. And if you look over there, there is a lot more trees right there, right?
what does it say here? Attention. Have a look at this right here. Uh-huh, I'll give you a minute to read that. Oh yeah. It is a little bit windy right here, but uh, I decided to make me a little bit of a pit stop at this beautiful view right here. Let's take a good look at it. Oh yeah, that's looking beautiful. Got a nice little river right here. And uh, believe it or not, we got Friday, August 7th right there, right? Hopefully that will focus okay. And if you look carefully, there is snow on top of these peaks already. Let me see if we can go all the way up there. You guys see that? There's already snow on top of these mountains. This one is not covered very much yet, but it is already starting to get covered in snow. Wow, that is early, early in the year already, in my opinion. There is a little bit of snow up there as well. Maybe we can get a good shot at that one there. Maybe. I've seen more snow than this in some of these hills up here. But I figured why not show you guys this. It's got a little bit of snow up on it. But this river is flowing pretty good today. I'm very surprised on how much of a flowing we got going on here today. Yeah, you guys can see a little bit of snow up there too. Yep, right there it is. I am very, very shocked that at this time of the year we are already starting to see this much snow on these hills, but this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous area right here. Huge hills. But I think I'm going to go ahead and close off the show right here with this big hill behind me, or maybe I'll do it this way so you guys can see a little bit of the beautiful scenic area behind me. And uh, I know this is going to be a little bit of a mix of everything a little bit, but hey, I do appreciate you guys tuning in for another Adventures show here on the uh, Nomad Outdoor Adventures and Travel Show. So if this is your first time here, consider subscribing and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to uh, hit that thumbs up and share the video. All them good things to support this channel. And with that being said, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.